Oh, the Mbox 360 has been released. So right when these guys come back to work, we will create a new topic game for the Mbox 360. Okay, develop a new game on the Mbox 360. 500,000, sounds good, a large game. We're gonna go with a airplane action game. On, like I said, the Mbox 360, Doomsday Supreme, Solar Thunder. That'd be an action sim, I guess, so we'll do that. Uh, M for Mature? No, pretty much E for everyone. Yep. 3D Graphics version 5, of course. Now, one thing though, is there... Well, no, I need research. Re... Cola. No, I need research. Uh, why can't I see research, please? Okay, whatever. Uh, action game. Gameplay. Up. Stories and quests. Same thing. Right where you are. However, I will bring myself back in, switch out Kaden. That works. And I'll take the lead on this design project. Can I see research now? Of course I can not at all. What the hell? Is it because I'm making a game? Holy points! My god! Okay, I'm going to work on dialogues, just so I can throw my one-two punch in there. I don't know. Why not? Shut up. Okay, world design, graphics, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That is good, yes. Alright, uh, except we're gonna switch Jaden with uh, Holly. Yeah. Okay. Holy tech points from me. Jeez, us. I don't even know what that number was, but the bubble was huge. Oh, I didn't even do a marketing campaign. That's alright, it's still got tons of hype. It seems that Age of Solar 3 had quite a few bugs undiscovered. Oh. Of course I'm gonna patch the game. Uh, develop patch 1.1 million. Sure. That's nothing. Oh, Ninvento announced the... the new. Okay, well. Sure, 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 sure! And the Age of Solar 3 patch is now out. Oh, look at this. Right before we release it, another G3 convention. Let's be number one this time. Let's see. Ah, number one! Yes! We are victorious! Get away that bug, please. Thank you. Let's go. Come on, Solar Thunder is a raving success. Research. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna risk it, and I'm just gonna keep going for the design points. No, train. Uh, whoa, what is this? Special specialization. Game design. Okay. Good. Keep going with that. A nine. A nine. A ten. And a ten. That's awesome. That is great. Solar Software has recently released a much needed patch for Age of Solar 3. One fan said, I love companies like Solar Software. They don't just milk their customers for money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we can enjoy our games. Absolutely. Alright. We're gonna train you on programming. 
I don't necessarily know if that's actually technology points. I'm just assuming so, because it's getting a lot of them. Wow, 500k in the first week? And 1.6 in the second week? Jesus. That's crazy. Alright, let's actually research something, I suppose. Co-op. We'll research co-op. I've been playing Solar Thunder and have tremendously enjoyed the experience. The game shines of technical excellence. Clearly, developers know what they're doing. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as Solar Thunder. Awesome. We're gonna hit technology specialization before design. Ugh. Yeah, and the only reason why I'm rushing those two rather than spreading it out is because I want the R&D office. And I'm assuming there's something for the technology specialization? No? I have no idea. I'm hoping so. All right, let's do a contract. Oh, so close. Another contract. Five weeks, can we do it? Probably not. No, I'm just kidding, we probably will. Five million in sales, oh my god. That is crazy. We're up at $136 million. And the Wii is now released, or the new, whatever it is. Oh, we're not going to actually do this one. Oh, all right. That's okay. We have... God, I keep hitting research. Train. Game design. We're almost at 700. Almost. Keep doing contracts. Okay. Simulation games. Well, perfect. Because I'm going to create a sequel to... What is it? Solar Heart Surgeon. A surgery simulation game. On the M-Box 360. Doomsday Supreme. Solar Heart Surgeon 3. I couldn't put solar in, so, uh, there we go. Version 5. Okay, let's see. I am on engine gameplay. Yeah, that seems right. However, let's put uh, Holly on uh, stores and quests. And marketing will be a large campaign. Oh, the play system three. Yes. With a Blu ray. Oh, my. Nice. I think we're number one again. Yep. Almost. Okay, well, we'll send Caden on vacation. And Tom. And Jaden. And Holly. Okay. Hang on. We have engine. Oh, engine gameplay. Okay, good. Advanced physics and self learning AI. Oh boy. Train in game design. That should put us over, I hope. A nine. Yes. Yes! We've done it again. What was the, uh, the first reviews? An 8.25. And now we have a nine. Awesome. Alright, let's see about a new topic. Post-apocalyptic. Perfect. Let's get it. Okay, design is now over 700, which is good. Come on. 
stop, stop reading that book. I wanna have you specialize. Uh, wait, I think we need more research points, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is Solar Heart Surgeon 2 by Solar Software. The game shines of technical excellence. Uh, okay, we've had something like that. So, now that you're all back, let's do a contract. In what some call a bizarre show of arrogance, Vony representatives have been trash-talking Micronoff's successful inbox while praising their own upcoming PlayStation 3 in the lead up to their launch next month. Yeah, well, you know what, they, they pretty much had to because while the PlayStation 3 was good, uh, you know, there, there was a lot more network options for the Xbox 360. And now we're seeing a total reverse in what happened, you know, during that generation. Uh, now Sony's in control and Xbox is, well actually Xbox isn't trash talking Sony actually. Sony's, you know, beating the little kid while he's down. But, you know, I, I think it's hilarious, because they, they definitely deserve this. Okay, anyways. And usually high price play system 3. Blah, 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 yeah, 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 whatever. Space shuttle? Um, please? I would love to deliver a part to the space shuttle. Have solar software on a part? That'd be awesome. And the contract is finished. Awesome. So, now let's, uh... Train. Design specialist. Perfect. Once that's done, we'll, we should be able to grab an R&D office. I'm hoping. I guess we'll do the last contract. We can now open up our own research and development lab. Let's do it. Simply click the screen and drag to the left. Alternatively, you can click on the little R&D lab information cart on the bottom right half of the screen. New research available. 3D graphics version 6, AAA games, hardware, internet opportunities, and own convention. Oh, this is not the left. But, okay, whatever. Oh, drag to the left. All right. At the moment, it is empty, but we have a number of skilled people eager to start working. You don't have to hire them individually. Instead, you can simply decide on the budget for the R&D lab. The higher the budget, the more researchers will work, and the higher the research progress will be. <sighs> Running your own R&D lab can be very expensive, so be careful that you don't overspend. I suggest you start with smaller projects, and don't be afraid to cut down the budget if necessary. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, start a project. It's all well and good to have a booth at the yearly game convention and to show off our products, but with our large fan base, we should consider staging our very own convention instead. Like a Minecon type of thing? Or is it what, uh, you know, Sony, Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft do at E3? Like a large convention. Um, either that, okay, let's just go through them then. The internet will change our lives forever. This project will investigate how we can use the internet to make better games and deliver better experiences. Completing this project should unlock new options for research. Pushing the boundaries of photorealism, this revolutionary gaming or graphics engine will blow away everything that has come before. Near infinite draw distance, ultra high polygon counts, and realistic particle and volumetric effects. Now that would be awesome. And of course, hardware. Software doesn't run without hardware. We are experts in creating software, but why not also investigate whether we can create our own hardware? Hardware. Okay. And then of course, AAA games. While this would give us a lot of hype, uh, let's not do that yet. I actually want to work on the 3D graphics. So we'll start that. The project is now started, and as your researchers work on it, you will see the progress in the status card. Don't forget to adjust the budget. If the budget is zero, the project will never progress. All right, let's do about... One million per month. I don't... I've never run this R&D lab, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, now let's... work on developing a new game. No, let's do a sequel. Soul City? That works. Soul City. Be a large game on the PC. 
for Doomsday Supreme. 3D Graphics version 5. We'll also fill this position as well. Complex algorithms. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do a budget the last time. Hey, we still got a nice person, so... It was definitely worth it anyways. Alright, let's do... 510. City simulation. Pretty much all of this is going to stay the same. I will have Holly rather than Tom, though. Okay, let's see. Oscar Holmes. Kevin Ramiro or Sherry Barber. Let's grab Oscar Holmes. Oh, wait, no, we have another one. Maxwell Schmidt. Alright, Oscar Holmes it is. Oh, hello there. Hire the maximum amount of people. That's all that we can have? Just one, two, three, four, five, six? That's it? Alright. While you only need one specialist to start running a lab, you can train more than one. Additional specialists decrease the overall running cost of your lab. She's almost there, so we'll, we'll do... We'll, uh... Upgrade her, eventually. Holly is getting stressed, so we will switch her with... Kaden. Oh, Grapple, a company well known for their app, for their role in the early PC industry, have created the Gurpod. Very nice. One point two million. We're still number one. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Look at the amount of points we're getting now. Unbelievable. New records. Level. Tom, Nathan, good. Okay, we're going to train you in programming. And Jaden in game design. A nine, nice. An eight. A nine, and an eight. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Well, at that, we're going to leave it off here. We have done a lot, and Solar Software looks like it's going to be a large success. Uh, I'm still going to learn the R&D lab, see what, you know, what I can do there, but um, it's going well. Game Dev Tycoon is a great late game experience, while early game seems kind of boring and tedious. Late game, it gets into all this stuff and it's really, really crazy. But I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.